Star Wars The Clone Wars had a whole lot of really good episodes, to the point that many of them get buried or outright forgotten. Among the many less remembered great episodes was the 10th episode of season 2, The Deserter. That episode was centered around an injured Captain Rex as he encounters and gets to know Cut Quain, a clone deserter. The episode was a crucial point in Rex's character evolution, which we touched on in an earlier video about his character. In this video, we'll get into further detail about the episode and how it changed Rex forever. Attention, Sergeant on deck! First, let's have a quick recap of the episode itself. The Deserter was the second half of a two episode arc, though the first episode in the arc, Grievous Intrigue, plays no role in the part of the story that we'll be talking about. The arc covers the Battle of Seleucami, and by this part of the battle, the Separatist forces that had gathered in orbit above the planet had been defeated, marooning General Grievous on the planet below. The episode starts with Obi-Wan, Captain Rex, and Commander Cody leading a force down to the planet's surface in pursuit. Rex and three other clones set out on bark speeders to do some reconnaissance, and that's where the trouble begins. Commando droid snipers incapacitate Rex, coming close to killing him and us with the heart attack it gave us. The other clones are forced to send Rex to stay for a little while with a family of farmers to recover while they complete their mission. But among the farmers, as fate would have it, was a clone deserter, Cut Quain. Rex is initially suspicious of Cut, but his suspicions begin to ease as he comes to know the man. Cut's homestead is later attacked by commando droids, and Rex and Cut fight together to defeat the droids. In the aftermath, Rex returns to the fight, but not before promising Cut that his secret is safe with him. Now, we've discussed Rex's character evolution in the past in detail, and we do recommend that you watch that video as well. Rex has already developed a bit by this point in the show. He's begun to show the first hints of doubt in the Grand Army, following his experience with Clone Sergeant Slick's betrayal. But for the most part, he still holds more or less true to Republic regulations, and he believes both in the cause and guidelines the Kaminoans indoctrinated him with. This episode, however, changes that by putting Rex face to face with a clone deserter, which gives him a rather simple choice, a choice between regulations and what's right. In an aforementioned video, we said that Rex could have gone in two different directions in his character development. Either he would see the reality of war and decide that moral shortcuts were a necessity as a result, or he would see the reality of war and continue to do the right thing regardless. The final split between these paths, as we mentioned in that video, was Umbara. But this incident with Cut Quain was the first major tip in either direction. Republic military protocol required all men who came into contact with clone deserters to report them immediately, with strict consequences for failure to do so. After all, legally speaking, those clones were property of the Republic, and not reporting deserters in the eyes of the law was equivalent to not reporting theft. The regulations were very, very clear on the matter, which is why it's so important that Rex put them aside. Rex had bent the rules before, but he had never before broken them this decidedly, and it was a major point of development for his character as a result. Initially, Rex's instincts told him to turn cut in. As soon as he saw the man, he realized that he was a deserter. He knew what the regulations said he had to do, and he had every intention of doing so. He even told Cut as much. But he couldn't, or at least he couldn't right away. He was stuck at Cut's homestead until he recovered from his injuries, luckily for Cut. During that time, Rex cooled down and got to know the man better, and his attitude began to change. While Rex was initially distrusting of Cut, this began to soften fairly quickly as he watched Cut interact with his stepkids and when he began to talk to him about his experiences and views on the war. This sparked an internal conflict for Rex. He knew what the regulations said and he was half a mind to follow them anyway, but in his gut, he was beginning to feel that the regulations were wrong. He was beginning to trust and somewhat respect Cut, and he knew that it would be wrong for him to turn him in, even more so considering that he'd be depriving those kids of their father. It was those kids, in fact, that were responsible for ultimately changing his mind on the matter. While playing out in the fields, they came upon a Separatist escape pod, 
a pod filled with about 20 commando droids. They accidentally activated the killing machines, which chased them back to the homestead. Detecting that there were clones present, the droids proceeded to besiege the house and Rex and Cut were forced to fight them off. Okay, it's over. Rex was wounded and he and Cut were outnumbered 10 to 1, but the commando droids had all been damaged in the crash and they still had the defender's advantage. The battle was still a tough one and neither one would have survived without the other. After all, Cut was responsible for saving Rex's life at one point and Cut wouldn't have survived without Rex backing him up either. After a tense battle, the two clones eventually emerged victorious. The Lequain household would survive to continue their lives in peace at least until the Republic besieged the entire planet for five months. This skirmish was Rex's turning point. He had planned to uphold the regulations because to him, deserters were worthless cowards. But in fighting off the commando droids and especially in saving Rex's life, Cut proved that he was no coward. He was just as brave and just as good of a fighter as any other trooper Rex knew and that made the difference. He may well still have disagreed with Cut's reasons for deserting, but it didn't matter anymore. Cut had proven that he had the right to have those reasons, and so Rex broke the rules. He kept Cut secret from the Republic and set him on the right path. This was a very important precedent for Rex. It was the first time he had well and truly broken the rules so flagrantly and he felt it was the right decision. He went with his sense of morality over what he had been indoctrinated to believe, a hard choice and one that he would come to make for good later down the road. Rex's character still had a long way to develop after this incident, but he had taken an important step, one that directly played a big role in his ultimate choice on Umbara. So that was our analysis of The Deserter, another great Clone Wars episode that, now that Disney Plus is out, you should go and rewatch. Are there any other episode analyses that you'd like to see us do in the future? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Anyways guys, as always, make sure you check out all those links in the description below just before you go so you can join us on the wider Geetsleys community where you can interact with us on our discords or even play some games with us on our Geetsleys gaming network with our Gary's Mod and Roblox servers. Anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.